So as a matter of fact, in my first pregnancy, I didn't know how I got pregnant. I started sleeping like a mole. Welcome to Pregnancy. This is your week-to-week -week guide. You are about to embark on the most amazing, the most incredible journey of your life. I mean, imagine you being given the ability to create your own self. <laughs> so you're created for procreation. And this is the most amazing feeling that any woman would ever have. Congratulations. Well, my name is Jovita. I'm a mom, a mother of three kids. I've done a lot of research in this area of pregnancy and I have my experiences too. So that's the reason why I'm here. If you're week to week, in pregnancy is actually something that is so 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 important to you you want to check up on yourself what exactly is missing what do i do uh, what's the next thing <laughs> how did i get pregnant all sort of questions what should i eat um what kind of exercise should i do etc's so many questions keep coming up whenever you're pregnant especially if this is your first time of being pregnant now you're in the right place so stick around and let's be a member of the same family this is the maiden broadcast welcome <laughs> so without further ado let's get right into the video so like we all know that pregnancy is a magical time of expectations like we mentioned earlier and it's amazing it is so amazing i don't know how much i can express it but bear it in mind that you always have to visit your medical professional and you have to report everything that goes on with you to them so in this case this is not a guessing game this is not a time where you have to um, prescribe drugs for yourself or try out any kind of food or do any kind of thing this is a time that is so delicate that you ought to always contact your medical profession so if you hate the hospital if you dislike the hospital get ready to start hugging it or kissing it because it's going to be your best friend for the next nine months your week one of pregnancy fit or fertile during her reproductive life a woman will discharge or release 400 to 500 eggs from her ovaries and this process is called the ovulation and i hope you know that you have to ovulate as a woman sure you know by now that most months an egg travels down the fallopian tube and if that egg is fertilized by a sperm it means conception has taken place so we have to consider the following before conception can truly take place number one natural selection natural selection is a process by which the strongest and the fastest sperm gets to fertilize the egg Number two, fit to conceive. Couples should lead a healthy lifestyle. That way they can actually get to be parents. Number three, get fit. Now, if you are able to breathe fast and increase your heart rate through exercising, it would result into a lot of things. Not just you being healthy, but being healthy enough to be able to conceive of a child. Number four, eat healthy. Number five, drink responsibly. Number six, stop contraceptives. Number seven, ensure the time is right. You can only get pregnant during the ovulation period, either before the ovulation period or just close to the ovulation period. There are people who know how to calculate that and we get about that over the course of the video. But there's something to note. A sperm can survive three to four days inside your body as a woman so it is always advisable to have intercourse two days before your ovulation so as a matter of fact in my first pregnancy i didn't know how i got pregnant actually i didn't know how it happened i noticed i started feeling some cramps down here and i needed to go visit the doctor even at that i was so careless about a lot of things and i lived my normal life I was living my normal life, eating what I want to eat, going about however I wanted to go, moving my body about however I wanted to, and I'm not one of those who who feel nauseated, who feel, um, how do I put it, um, who vomit and all that. 
kudos to you, <laughs> those who do that. You're very strong. I'm one of those who sleep. I started sleeping like a mole, sleeping like sleeping uncontrollably. But it just didn't occur to me that I was pregnant until I started feeling the cramps. And I had to go to the doctor and the doctor was like, congratulations, you're six weeks pregnant. So that's far, that's how far I had gone before I found out that I was pregnant. But there are so many dangers to pregnancy and we have to discuss about that. I'm sure I must have exposed myself to one or two during the time when I was pregnant, especially my first pregnancy, it was like that. I must have been exposed to some of them, but uh, somehow, I don't even know, but somehow I, I just passed through because I was ignorant and that ignorance didn't hurt me. So what are the dangers you encounter in pregnancy? Number one, kitchen dangers. You have to take extra care when you're preparing your food. You don't want to be exposed to any kind of microbes that will end up obstructing the growth of your baby. Storage dangers. Now your food ought to be stored properly. Your cooked food should be at the top of your refrigerator while the raw food should be at the bottom because you don't know the kind of microbes that will be leaving your raw food which might enter into your cooked food. You don't want to do that. So if you're one of those who mix your food in your refrigerator or your deep freezer or however way you store your food, you have to be careful to ensure that the raw food is at the bottom and the cooked food is at the top. Hygiene. Wash your hands before cooking a meal. It cannot be overemphasized. You need to know that without even thinking about it. Because when you go out and come in, you go to the toilet, you touch one thing or another, you don't know what they are, you don't know the microbes, and you don't have a you obviously don't have a microscope to see what's going on in your hand. So you have to wash your hand properly before you start preparing your own food. Another danger of pregnancy is salmonella. It's found in chicken and in raw eggs. So please, 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 if you have any recipe that involves raw eggs, stay away from it. Homemade mayonnaise and all sort of recipes you might decide to explore. You find some on YouTube, you find your friends doing some and you're like, hey, I'm craving for this or can I just try this out? Be careful what you eat. Ensure your chicken is properly cooked and you don't eat raw eggs. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is extremely good for you. It's good for your eyes, it's good for your skin. But at the point of pregnancy, vitamin A should be taken in moderation and with doctor's prescription. Why? Because it can affect the development of your baby. So week one to week two, you ovulate at the end of week two. And at this point, the sperm would fertilize the egg. And when that happens, there will be a spring of life going on inside of you. So then you will say that a conception has taken place. What happens to you at the end of week two? The fertilized egg travels down the uterine tube to the uterus and at that point it implants itself. So the point where it implants itself, you can say that pregnancy has been established. Secondly, the uterus begins to enlarge. And as it enlarges, it makes itself comfortable for the zygote to start its development. At that point, implantation has taken place. The zygote can more easily implant into the lining. What happens to your baby? The zygote takes 10 days to travel down the uterine tube into the uterus. And as it's doing so, it breaks down into multiple cells. And these cells are called the blastocyst. And just one blastocyst is going to be your baby. And if you have two of it, you have identical twins. So that will be all for week one to two. If that helped you in any way, click the like button and we'll see you in week three.